up, BC? Coming back at you guys with another Transformers video review. This time we are, uh, as I bumped the camera all over the place. Uh, we are continuing, continuing with Rob Rider Week. It's day six today. And today, we're taking a look at Transformers Prime Sideburn. Now, of course, I Rob used the wheeljack mold because that was pretty much the closest damn thing. That, and I just really liked the wheeljack mold and wanted to see it in blue and called it sideburn in the end. So, yeah, um, either way, you know, he is what he is. What are you doing? Wheeljack, get out of the shot. I'm not in the shot. Yes, you are. I can see you right there. Can you? Oh, hi. Get out of the shot. Well, I don't want to. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> and that is why. Hey! Ah! That's what you get. Anyways, um, as you can see, things have changed on this one. Mostly the large tumor on his left side. Um, yeah, there really isn't much else to say here other than he purposely, like, he tried to replicate the flame design, which it didn't work out too well, but you know what, I like the way it looks in person, so I'm, I'm okay with it. Now, of course, we come to the bottom, and you can see he even colored the swords. That is awesome. Anyways, with all that said, let's get him into robot mode and see what he looks like there. And here he is in bot mode. Can I start by saying awesome? Uh, yeah. Again, it's a case of I have the original figure. So, give me just a quick second. There's the original, which you can see. He's not too far off. I mean, he's shorter. Granted, I don't have him standing straight up. So, yeah, you can see. Eh, he is a tad bit shorter. Otherwise, that's pretty much okay. Now, of course, with a quick pop. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to do it again because I'm scared I might actually end up breaking the figure. But um, you can actually swap their heads. I tested this, I have a picture of it on Facebook. You can actually swap their heads. That alone makes me very happy and really looking forward to getting a Junker version of him. So if anyone can get me Junkers of the Autobot Brothers, please do let me know. I will more than likely take them off your hands. But yeah, um, lost my train of thought. Anyways, um, yeah. Now of course, his usual weapon, the Wheeljack mold weapons are the swords. In my mind, Cyburn doesn't have swords. But he has a big mofo cannon, which, Rob? Come on. Come down here. Come down here. Bring sharp, bring sharpies. Please. Thank you. Fits snugly in his hand since I modified it. I modified it to where it stays out. And yeah, he kind of can't hold it straight and his joints aren't strong enough to really hold the gun up. But you know, he still looks imposing. Holding a giant mofo cannon like that. And plus, again, not too far off because the original had a mofo gun. So 
So, with all this said, this is the end to Rob Writer Week, day six, I believe. Yeah, day six. And, yeah. This is BC saying, stay nerdy and get your geek on. I will catch you guys next time. Uh, Jackie, what are you doing? I want to stand next to him. Peace.